Hello, welcome to karting. My name is Ariel, I'm a kart racing driver. And today we are going to speak with Takuma Sato, a very famous racing driver from Japan. Takuma is an ex F1 driver and he is two time Indy 500 winner. I never had a chance to go into the, uh, the racing, you know, when I was a childhood. So basically, my parents had uh, no idea uh, for the racing. So I started racing when I was 19 years old for the karting, and then only one and a half season spent karting in local in Japan, and then went to the racing school in Suzuka, which is uh, run by Honda. So that is basically, they had an age restriction. You have to be under 20 to get in that school. So I was, for me, the last chance and an only chance. I went to the school, got the scholarship, and that's how my career started. So, basically I started when, racing when I was 20 years old. So, compared to those uh, uh, super children, um, very different uh, environment. So I think uh, this, uh, the junior category, they do a fantastic job, this uh, FRACRK karting, and uh, you know, I, I, um, I, f I feel this is, uh, this is the best training for the, uh, all the junior drivers. Lately we can see Takuma in the karting paddock, because his son is driving here in the highest level of karting. Yeah, basically uh, uh, my son is uh, the start racing uh, very recently. Uh, it's only a couple of years ago in Japan, but um, I saw a great opportunity. A friend of mine, Ricky, uh, gave a great opportunity uh, to, to, to race in the, uh, in the Europe. So, uh, yeah, now he start learning English and um, he's starting to be very competitive in the European karting race, which is, as he said, physically, mentally, lots of training, communications and uh, skill for the race. and. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, this is a great environment. As a father, I could uh, support him as much as I could, but um, it's, uh, once you get to this level, I think it's only him making some difference. This year in Tokyo we have the Olympics, but without spectators, and this looks a bit strange. Um, Olympics is, is one of the uh, the greatest event, a sports event in the world, and I uh, wish we had a more open <laughs> Olympic Games without this COVID-19 pandemic situation. But here we are, you know, Japan finally able to, to uh, produce a, um, a good environment, and hopefully there is not much uh, new cases anymore. And um, well, I think uh, all the athletes is doing it best. I. I personally had experience in, with Indy 500 last year with no spectators and really nothing like it. You know, it's just, uh, just uh, that is the name of the sport. You need, a, you need an integration with the spectator's passion and the athlete. And without that, it, it is always sad. But today, with you know, thanks to the technology, like everybody uh, safely at home can really enjoy or cheering for the world's best athlete in the Olympic Games. And I wish uh, they are a uh, great success for the individuality. The big question is, will motorsport ever be as an Olympic sport? Well, <laughs> it's, it's always challenging, isn't it? It's, it's an argument is uh, equipment, the, um, it's, it's a big hurdle for the Olympic Games because uh, to make sure everybody on exactly identical equipment, that's what uh, needs to be. Now, of course, karting could be as close as possible, but still, we've come to this level, it's always tough. Um, but I think uh, the most racing will be recognized as a, one of the great sports in the world. And I wish uh, the new Olympic Games on the, uh, and the category of including in motorsporting, it will be, uh, be fantastic for our news. Thank you, Takuma. Thank you very much. So, it's time for me to go to the next race. Thank you for watching. Feel free to ask questions. I will answer all of them. Ciao. And thanks to my sponsors.